Twice a month, the Westland City Council meets here at City Hall to conduct business. The meeting is open to the public and residents are encouraged to attend. Very often, agenda items are approved without much discussion and many people are left wondering about specific details. The purpose of this program is to fill in the blanks on select agenda items to give residents a fuller understanding of the business of the city. So, on today's show, I'll be going over the City Council agenda from the September 5th meeting. The first item I want to discuss actually showed up twice on the City Council's agenda. We received two separate requests from organizers of the Motor City Roots Festival. The first was to gain approval for a public entertainment license, and the second was asking for a one-day liquor license for their event on September 17th. The Motor City Roots Festival will be held on the property of the Eloise Asylum attraction at 30712 Michigan Avenue. The festival is billed as the place where music and art converge and a place to elevate your spirit, expand your horizons, and embrace a new level of enjoyment. There will be performances from Babyface Ray, Jeezy, Antonio Brown, and more. This event will bring in over 5,000 visitors to our city, and the City Council unanimously approved both of these requests. The next item on the consent calendar was from our Westland Police Department. They were asking for permission to renew the contract with Tyler Technologies for the ARCS Alert software used by the department. This program collects data about all the traffic stops, arrests, training, and other interaction with our police officers and department. This data is available for public viewing on their public community transparency dashboard, which can be found on the police page of cityofwestland.com. This renewal, which the council approved, helps to maintain the highest level of transparency for our police department and residents. Each year, under Public Act 51, the City of Westland receives municipal credits and community credits from the State of Michigan to provide regional transportation. This is done through the Smart Bus System. The City Council was being asked to approve the fiscal year 2024 contract with Smart, which will allow us to continue to use Nankin Transit right here in Westland. This much needed service transports senior citizens and those with disabilities in and around Westland and to neighboring communities at a nominal cost. This curb-to-curb -curb service is vital for many people who have no other way to get to doctor's appointments or other places in our community. Nankin Transit has been a huge asset to our community for many years and we are glad to continue that relationship. The last item approved on the consent calendar was the acquisition of a property through the Community Development Block Grant and Home Program. City Council is being asked to approve CDBG funds to purchase and then demolish a blighted property on Ross Common Street. Once completed, the property will be available for sale to use in an affordable housing development. Following the approval of the consent calendar at each City Council meeting is the payment of vouchers. The vouchers are an important part of the City Council agenda packet. These 20 pages list all the goods and services that were recently purchased by the various City Departments. All these expenditures are tracked to maintain a healthy, balanced budget and to ensure that your tax dollars are being spent responsibly and ethically. The last remaining agenda item was the request from a local church for a one-day liquor license. Celebration Lutheran Church on Joy Road is holding an Oktoberfest on October 7th and would like to be able to offer beer to attendees who are of legal drinking age. I was glad to see the City Council approve this request as events like these really bring our community together. In addition, they also draw people from outside of our borders, which gives us an opportunity to showcase Westland to people from all over the region. At the end of each City Council meeting, I get an opportunity to make comments about what went on during the meeting and provide some community updates. At this meeting, I chose to talk first about the response to the many power outages that Westland residents deal with each year. The Michigan Public Service Commission is now seeking public comment on power outages for review. They want to hear from stakeholders about the recent straw proposal put forth that ties financial metrics to the duration of outages and number of customers affected. Customers should reference case number U-21400 in their comments. You can email or mail your comments to the address on the screen. 
Lastly, I inform everyone that due to the recent extreme heat, I authorized our Parks and Recreation Department to offer free admission to the H2O Zone on Labor Day. It was a huge success and many residents were thrilled to be able to enjoy the park at no cost. We will also be waiving the fee for residents again this weekend. So on Saturday and Sunday, September 9th and 10th, residents can enter the spray park from noon to 6 p.m. for free. As a reminder, my office is here to serve you, the residents of Westland. If there's anything we can do to assist you, please do not hesitate to call us at 734-467-3200. Or you can email me at mayor at cityofwestland.com. Thanks for joining me for this episode of After the Gavel. I'll be back again after the next city council meeting, which is scheduled for Monday, September 18th at 7 p.m. You can visit our website to see a copy of the agenda and support materials as soon as they are prepared. We'll see you then.